You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Ellis versus Shivers and McClellan. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Ellis, you and your brother have brought your mother to court today because you say you've always believed the man in this photograph is your father. Yes, Your Honor. Then, just recently, you learned that your biological father may actually be your father's brother. Whoa. Yes, Your Honor. Mrs. Shivers, you confessed that you slept with both your ex-husband and his brother. Yes, Your Honor. You admit you kept that secret from your sons throughout their lives. Yes, I did, Now Your Honor. you say you're seeking DNA results to discover the truth and beg for their forgiveness. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Ellis, how did you find out your mother slept with your uncle and he may be your father? Well, yes, Your Honor. Um, we were at a family gathering, you know, just uh, having some drinks or whatever, and uh, Ron uh, Uncle Ronnie came up to me and said, you know, I'm your son, you know, you're my son, right? You know, so... Uh, yeah, it was basically like a family get-together. It was a family function. You know how people get when they, you know, indulge or whatnot. Uh, I guess he, you know, he overindulged and the truth came to light, you know, so he it's approached my brother. It's not the truth. Well... Leave whatever you want to believe. Okay, we're leaving no. the door open. Believe well, what you want to believe. It up. Assume what you want to assume. Yeah. He assumes Ronnie's his dad. But what about you? That's my dad on the screen right there, John Ellis. He got, he better, I mean, he got to be my dad. So, Miss Shivers. Yes. You admit you slept with both brothers. Yes, Your Honor, I did. I had no choice. I had nowhere to go. And I ended up at Mama Mildred's house where Ronnie lived. I lived there as well. We got intoxicated. We had a one-time thing, and that was it, which was a big mistake, Your Honor. But, you know... I mean, things happen. I but... had nowhere to lay my head, and we grew up together. We're best friends. I did what I had to do to keep a roof over the head my, for this one, for the, Eugene. Uh, well, you know what? My mom did everything in her power and her will and everything to take care of us. I'm not here to crucify my mom or nothing like that, or, you know, it ain't nothing like that. We just want to know what's going on. You know, my brother feels a certain way about something, so we're here to address that. We feel like he may have a different father. That's how I feel. I feel like because my dad did, like, you know, you could tell he kind of treated him different from me. Even you, know, you saw that I and felt that. I seen this growing up. Yes, I did. He, he, he want to know where he come from, who he is. Yeah. He didn't, uh, he didn't even write me that much uh, when I was in jail, but he wrote him, you know, sent him money, you know, so that made me feel some yeah, type I mean, of way as well, you know. Unfortunately, we had to take a trip down the road, and my, my dad, my father, he wrote me more than he did my brother, you know what I'm saying? And you don't do that. If that's your child, you know, you're supposed to be there through thick and thin like my mom, you know? I heard from her every day of, you know, that place or that situation. But when we were in that situation, he didn't reach out to my brother at all, not really, like, at all. So I understand... And Ronnie's always been there, right? Yeah, and Ronnie's, Ronnie's always, always been, been there, the no one. matter what. He yeah. introduced me to his brother. I didn't even know he had a bigger brother. So you are pretty confident who your father is? Yes. The question really revolves around your brother. Yes, I'm positive John Ellis is my father. But if you look at me, you look at me, and you look at my dad, I mean, if you had a full body shot of my dad, I'm slim like my dad, I'm built like my dad, my features like my dad. Arthur is big, he's a big guy right here. Uncle Ronnie is big, that's a big guy right there. You know, they broad, I'm skinny, I'm slim, you know? Well, his, his, uh, uh... his hair, his hair is different from my hair. I mean, if we got the same dad, Okay, wouldn't you think that his texture, his hair, would come out the same as mine? Because I got... Not well, necessarily. Well, Your Honor, I was married to a na another man before I left and went to Detroit, and that's when I got pregnant with Eugene, so... Do you feel there are reasonable, credible doubts as it relates to Eugene as well? Yes, Your Honor, maybe so. What? Well, you want to hear it? That's I'm going to tell you. ain't never said that before. Well, and I asked you, who's my dad? John Ellis. You said John Ellis. So now it's there a possibility somebody else might be my dad. Well, well you got tested, son. We're going to bring it out. We'll bring it but, all uh, out. I'm telling the truth, so let's judge, bring it on out. Um, Whatever my babies want to know, I'll let you know. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. 
I didn't know that. So I didn't you're know saying, that. See, Eugene, you had absolutely no, no idea no, no, until not this even very a moment. Until right now, not even a possibility somebody else could be my father. Ms. Shivers, I want to make sure we're clear. You're now stating that you had been in a relationship before you got to Detroit, so you were in a relationship with both men in close proximity, and therefore there could be a doubt as it relates to Eugene's paternity as well. Okay. They were basically trading me off. You don't trade off people like that. I was just used. I was shifted from one man to another man. So I had a hard life. I had to struggle. In any kind of way it meant for me to stay alive, I stayed alive. But yeah, Judge, uh, my Uncle Ronnie, he's called me on my birthday, and he was, he said, uh, I don't know who I'm talking to, my son, you know, or my nephew, one of you, happy birthday, you know, so, you know. And that's the yeah, way he said, said happy birthday? Yeah. I don't know if I'm talking to my son or my nephew, but happy birthday. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Yeah. Jerome, I think we need to meet Uncle Ronnie or Uncle Father Dad. Ronnie. Uncle he Dad. He him Uncle Daddy. He calls him Uncle Daddy. That's I call Uncle, Uncle Daddy. That's his Uncle My Daddy. goodness. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Right up on the, on the chair next to the judge on the bench. Watch your step going up the steps. Hello, sir. Please be seated. Mr. McClellan. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know, we are here with Eugene and Arthur talking about the issues surrounding their paternity. And we're also here hearing testimony from Ms. Shivers that is, she's trying to make sense of all of the confusion. She said she slept with you and your brother. And now you may potentially be Arthur's father. Do you agree with this? Is this your understanding that you could potentially be this young man's biological father? Yes. It is? Yes. Please take me back. How did you come to know or realize that this young man could be your biological child? My brother had put her and uh, Eugene out and they came back to Chicago and lived with me. And while they were living with me, she said we only had sex once. She must have meant we only had sex once sober. You hear me? <laughs> That's what she oh. must have meant, you know? Because she can't even remember the first time, you know? But you remember. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, no, no more details needed. Okay. <laughs> so the period window of conception it was during the time you were in Chicago with Mr. McClellan. Yes. Right. Understood. Yes. But and Judge, so, uh, John Ellis is on my birth certificate. So, he is? Yeah. Yes. You have a copy of that birth certificate? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to see that, please. So, Mr. McClellan, we're looking at Arthur's birth certificate. John Ellis is listed as father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, we understand John Ellis is a possible father, yes, and he's also Your listed Honor. on his birth certificate because yes. you say he demanded so when he came to the hospital. Yes. His brother, Mr. McClellan, is also a possible father. Yes, Your Honor. Are there any other, and I must ask you this respectfully, are there any other possible fathers? Yes, Your Honor. Cool breeze. Um... I met him when I was waitressing in the restaurant and he ran a big hotel. And he also, you know, gave me jobs and stuff. That's when Eugene was like about four or five. We had a couple of little nights, you know, where we had a few drinks and we did have intimacy. He died, you know, that might be a possibility because when I was staying at Mama Mildred's with Ronnie and everybody, I went and supplied food and did whatever, right, Ronnie? Bought everything for the house, Mama's, Mama Mildred's medicine, all of that. He was the one who hired me. He was giving me the jobs. So we cool did have Cool Breeze a, was. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Yeah, I've never heard this story about 
uh, Pooh Breeze possibly being Arthur's dad. I never heard that. I can see there's just been so much history and just herd after herd and then confusion after confusion and secrecy after secrecy and your mother's openly saying, I was in a different space and time and trying to stay alive. I'm dating these older women. I'm this young woman. I'm... It, 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 there's so much going on. But as the story continues to unfold, there are more potential fathers. Yes, Your Honor, there So is. now, as you say, with Eugene, potentially there could be another man that could be his father. And now with Arthur, we have three potential fathers, Cool Breeze, Mr. McClellan, and John Ellis. Yes, and that's his given name, Cool Breeze, Melvin Cool Breeze. Yeah, but Cool Breeze I had a lot of friends, night. Your Honor. It wasn't like cool I was out there was just tramping. And he was blacker than night. It ain't, if, he, if that was his dad, he'd, be, he'd come out a little darker. That well, cool we breeze. saw in a case earlier today, that's not the no. case. Am I right, Jerome? The generation. children come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. <laughs> Ultimately, what brings us here today is a paternity issue. Yeah. Many paternity issues. Yeah. Yes, Your Honors. That's why I want these babies to say whatever they need to say. I need us to have the same dad. Well, they're gonna show you guys and got the Eugene, same father. You say you need yeah. you need you and your brother to have the same yep. dad? I see you're emotional. What are you feeling? You say you need we that. We gotta have the same dad. Well, it's it's emotional to both of us. We got into it, you know, last night over it. But we just we just we just here to find out our identity. You so know. they can go on and have so this, a life. this not Regardless. knowing, this confusion is making well, issue with just, you as brothers? Based, everything was based on a whole bunch of lies, you know? And what we thought was the truth of what we were told and grew up thinking, come to find out, it ain't, you know? Because I try it, to protect them with you, the little white lie here and there. You don't understand, Eugene. We want the truth. Back in the 70s, it was a we nightmare to go through, son. Regardless of whatever, I just want you to know, Mom, I'm proud to be a half-breed man. You hear me? I'm proud. Thank you, son. I love it. I wouldn't be black. I wouldn't be white. I'd be exactly what I am today, and I love it. My kids is, is bright just like me, and I love it. I wouldn't have it no other way. I love you. That's and why you're Regardless of what me. happened and what happened right here today, you was you was our dad, and you are our dad. So this that, this don't mean nothing. Arthur, honey, love you. Love you too. Man. Love you, and you boys better get it together. Hug each other. No more yeah. of this nonsense. Yeah. Don't hurt yourselves. Very hard, Your Honor. I'm still, like they're five years old, I'm still guiding, guiding all my children, all of them, except the oldest. <clears throat> we don't want you two fighting. We don't want you two arguing over this, regardless of what the results. He was kind of saying some things about my father that I didn't like, you know. Since we've had this revelation or whatnot, he's, he ain't been talking too kindly about my dad, and I don't like that, you know. I mean, Okay, that's, well, that's don't our... get worked back up in the courtroom, because no. we don't want... Oh, hey, we want you all no to remember at all times that regardless of what these results are, this is your mother, you are brothers. Yes, ma'am. And you should love each other as such. Are you ready for the results? Yes, ma'am. All right. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're going to go to the results for Eugene first. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. That's my dad. You learned in this courtroom for the first time that your mother said John Ellis may not be your biological father. That's my daddy. Here are the results. In the case of Eugene Ellis v. Shivers McClellan, pertaining to whether John Ellis is your biological father, it has been determined by this court John Ellis is your father. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I said that from the beginning. I knew that. Look at me. Look at him. Okay, okay. I have the results for Arthur as well. Are you ready? Arthur? Yes, Judge. Okay. In the case of Arthur Ellis v. Shivers McClellan, Pertaining to whether John Ellis or his brother Ronald McClellan 
is your biological father. It has been determined by this court. John Ellis. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Arthur Ellis v. Shivers McClellan, pertaining to whether John Ellis or his brother Ronald McClellan is your biological father, it has been determined by this court. John Ellis is your father. <laughs> I know what I did. Oh, man. Hey. I would get Ellis. I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. You hear me? I was getting ready to go and put it in. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I told you. Yeah. You hear me? I need a dad. I know, that's why I'm that. here. Sorry, Mom. Uh, it's all right. I told you boys the truth. I told you boys. I told you the truth. It's okay. So, gentlemen, you have the truth. This is the truth you wanted. Yeah, I knew it. You brothers, by your mother and your father. Now you got the same mother and the father. What you gonna do now? No. How about just get along, okay? I'm so happy for you. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Doesn't your brother look like me? Yeah. Y'all both are. So ugly. you took your dad's <laughs> side, he took my side, right? Yeah. Told you children that's how it goes. You know, this right here, this is this could this this is great. I mean, same, same mom, same dad. That's I don't want it anyway, so yeah, all is well.